Hi everyone, thank you for watching. In today's video, we will be learning the factory. This looks a little something like this. This trick, in my opinion, looks a lot harder than it is, and it is known for being a classic crowd pleaser. So anyway, I'm gonna try and break it down in a few simple steps. The first thing that you're gonna to need to know as a prerequisite is how to juggle two balls in one hand. So doing this, you're not doing the usual round to the outside, you're doing columns. So that means both balls are just going up and down without crossing over. They're always staying in the same column. So if you can't already do two in one hand columns, I'd recommend practicing that until you feel comfortable. The other thing I recommend is the classic 4-2-3 pattern and generally just a basic understanding of simple three ball juggling. So step number one, let's just get accustomed to the pattern and the movements of your hands. So. Let's start with the two ball column in one hand and we can just keep that going. What we're gonna do is, for now, focus on the outside ball. So this one's the inside ball because it's on the inside of my body and this one is the outside ball because it's on the outside. So we're tracking the outside ball and essentially all you're gonna do is mirror it with the other hand. So as the outside ball goes up, the other hand goes up in sync. So, huh. so as you can see, this looks quite cool on its own as it's kind of like an illusion and you can actually integrate this step into the trick itself. So you can do a load of these and then go into the pattern, but you know, that's later. The next step for now is to complete the pattern with this hand. At the moment, we're tracking the outside ball and we're going up, but then we're bringing it straight down. What we have to do is bring it up, then instead of bringing it straight down, we're gonna go across. So up, across. So just get used to this pattern with your hand. It's a little bit awkward at first, but it will become much more natural. So now let's just put the movement of the arm into it, just like we were doing before. Up, across, up, across, up, across. So you can see I'm just going there and going back nothing too dramatic. The next step that I want you to do is, as you're throwing these two balls up in the columns and this arm has gone up and then it's going across, as it goes across, you wanna now throw the inside ball diagonally across to this hand. But obviously this hand at the moment is gonna be over there, but you're essentially just throwing the inside ball across where that hand would be. For now, we don't need to worry about catching it, we don't need to worry about really where it's going. All you're gonna do is throw it across like that. So the timing to throw the inside ball across is as you move this one up and you begin to move it over, as you're moving this over, that's when this one goes that way. So for now, let's just do one round of that. You're basically gonna bring this ball up, you're gonna bring it across, as we bring it across, this inside ball is going over there. So going up, across, we can just stop there, try that a couple of times. So up, across, so let it fall. If you're in this position, you're good. From here, we're gonna build up one step at a time. The first thing that we're gonna do, we're still not gonna worry about catching that inside ball. We're just gonna let that drop over there. The only ball we're gonna worry about is this one, goes up, goes across, but this time we are gonna complete the movement. So as you've thrown the inside ball across, there'll be one ball here, one ball here. All you're gonna do is you're gonna drop this one down into the columns. But the only important thing to remember now is this ball is on the outside and the previous outside ball is now the inside ball. So that's gonna drop then you're back into the columns like this. Might be worth just trying that movement, your up, cross, 
Let's put that in with the three balls. So exactly what we were doing before, up, across. So up, across. Remember, just don't worry about the inside ball. All you have to do is make sure that you're throwing it up diagonally across. Once you've done this stage a couple of times and you're feeling more comfortable, it's time to complete it and catch that inside ball that we threw across. The easiest way to think about catching this ball is not like a normal catch, but instead like a down catch. Because if you imagine your hand has just gone over there and you're coming, you don't have to go exactly like this, but it's gonna be pretty much coming down like this. So it's a lot easier to catch this ball on the way down with a hand upside down. So yeah, maybe just get used to this catch a little bit. Start with your hand up, you're going down, bring it up. So down, bring it up. Just to get this pattern into your head. So down, bring it up. Down, bring it up. So if you're able to do all of this up to this point, then that's really great. What we've got up to so far is up, across, down. So the very next throw from this point is one inside throw. So that would be, let's imagine that's coming down. This one is the inside throw. I'm throwing it as this ball is being dropped. So up like that. And the very next throw is an outside throw. And with that outside throw, we restart. The outside throw comes up, as does this hand, goes up. Exactly what we just did, repeated. So starts out what we just did. Go across, inside throw, outside throw, and there is the loop. So it goes there, inside throw, outside throw, inside throw, outside throw. As usual, don't worry if it's feeling really hard or really quick to begin with. You will become accustomed to the pattern and you'll get used to it and it will eventually start to feel a lot easier. A quick point to make, when you're bringing this ball up and across, try not to block the ball with your hand. Can be easy to, you know, maybe bring it up like this or not properly presenting because you're not thinking about it from what it looks like from over there. But essentially, I try and just hold the ball simply like this. So I'm sort of showing the ball to whoever's watching the camera or the audience, you know? I'm showing them the ball as opposed to sort of showing my hand. I'm sure you get the idea. It's just a little thing, but it looks a little bit nicer in my opinion. You can get in and out of this pattern from the cascade just by imagining it as a 4-2-3, which is like this. So you can easily go back into the cascade from the three of the 4-2-3, just as you can from this three. So three, it's a little bit quick, but that's how you get back in. To go from the cascade back into it, simply throw one straight throw, a four, then like that. So cascade, four, 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 four. So thanks for watching the tutorial. I'd love to know what you thought in the comments. If you liked it, please leave me a like. If you enjoy this sort of video and you like juggling circus stuff, please consider subscribing to my channel. Otherwise, Enjoy juggling, have a lovely day. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.